One of the largest causes of employees taking time off work for the last three years has been stress. It's actually an epidemic in the Western world. And I'm here with Dr. Annika Sorensen from Sweden to talk about this very issue and how we can make a change. Annika, thanks for being here. Thank you very much for having me. It's very nice. Annika, so you are a family practitioner, but you've also done a lot of research around stress. What have you found in your own practice? Uh, yes, I'm a family doctor. I've been working in Sweden uh, as that and uh, lately I've been working more with stress-related uh, disease and I found that this is like I would say that 75% of the, the, the courses for people to go to, this, to the healthcare clinic is caused by how we live, uh, by, by um, yeah, uh, how we treat ourselves. And it's only like 25% that are things that we would call really diseases. So it's a very big, big issue. Why do you think that we are all so stressed out? Uh, that's a big question. Uh, it's, uh, the society around us are not made for the physiology that we have. That's basically the thing. We have a physiology that is not in line with how we treat it in this modern world, in this 24-hour society that we have today. I think that's a pretty important point. So you're saying in a 24-hour society, you know, we don't sleep, we're going all the time, we have a million things to do, and that our bodies can't keep up with us? Yes, that's true. And sleep is the main thing in health. I mean, without sleep, we die. So it's really the main thing. And if we treat ourselves with not sleeping, uh, then we cause chaos within, within the body. And that deteriorates to, to all those diseases, that st this stress and this uh, not very healthy living makes in how, us. How can we tell when we're too stressed out? What are some of the signs? Uh, the one of the most common one is that you do sleep uh, less or that that your sleep is not good and uh, we forget things uh, and we get anxious we get angry we get we, we we're not really ourselves that's uh, maybe what what you could call it and then on the diseases side you have a, a hypertension is very common and it's an early sign and if it goes on with all those stress hormones in the body, uh, then they destroy the systems and you get like um, uh, uh, cardiovascular disease, we get diabetes, uh, stroke, and in the end we die. Uh, and also, of course, it's the other side, it's the mental part, you get depression. And uh, if you, uh, in the, at the end, uh, you, you, you have the, um, what do you say, you get burnt out, you hit the wall, uh, and all your systems go berserk. Do you find in your experience that men are more impacted by stress or women? Uh, I, I'm not really sure there is a difference uh, in how many, but there are differences in what, what they present. Uh, as the result of the stress. So it's not the, the, the number, it's uh, what, what, uh, how it shows in us. So what does stress look like in women? In women we get um, more stressed out and uh, towards the depression part. And in men I would say it's more of those things that we t normally call ordinary diseases like yeah, cardiovascular disease and hypertension and that kind of stuff. Uh, so they kind of present differently, but I think I would say that there is the same numbers. So they call you Dr. Calm and you have yes. written a couple books about moving from chaos to calm. What's the one or two things that people need to understand to start moving from chaos to calm? Uh, well, the thing is that if you 
don't, when you're calm, your blood pressure is, is good, at a good level, your metabolism is a good level, all your systems are working on the physiologically normal level. That's where we want to be, that's what we are built for. And if we are not in that state, then all these um, stress hormones will keep flowing around in our body and and get us all those diseases that we talked about before uh, that we don't want. Dr. Annika, what are stress hormones? Uh, there are different stress hormones, but the most common one is uh, cortisol, and that's the one that is most known. We have also adrenaline and noradrenaline, but, and those are in the really acute phases, but the long-term uh, the uh, hazardous one is the cortisol. That's the one we should find ways to avoid, really. So when you have high cortisol, how can that impact your health? Uh, high cortisol impacts our bodies in very many ways. And it, uh, it's, a, it's a thing that's very natural and it's normal. You, ha you have to have it. but. In, in the in normal levels, but when you get too much, it it really affects the whole body. But the most common ones are that you, uh, it's the it can cause obesity, it can cause uh, diabetes, it affects your uh, cardiovascular system, uh, so it's, it really affects your whole body in the end. So if we go with long with the high cortisol for a long time, that's when it's dangerous. For a short time, no problem. So how do we lower this cortisol? We try to find ways to get calm, to, f to go down, to get back to the basics, the way that we are really meant to be, uh, the way that the body is built for, uh, because it's built for normal levels of cortisol and all those other stress hormones. So as Dr. Calm, what are some of the specific ways that we can calm our body back down to this point of balance? Uh, to do stress um, management uh, and get back to balance, there are two different uh, areas that we have to master. And one is that we have to master uh, the here and now when we get acute uh, uh, situations with the, with the stress because it just pops on us. And that's one way of, uh, one thing that you have to take care of. And the other one is that you have to take care of your long-term uh, management of your life so that you don't pop into these situations. So it's two different ways of, of handling it. So we're talking about the acute, when a stressful situation comes up unexpectedly. Yeah. But many of us have lifestyles that just create one crisis after another, after another. So what kinds of choices could we make if we're just stressed out all the time to really shift that long-term condition of stress? If we have, uh, if we have uh, stress all the time, then we have to uh, actually take a look at our life. How are we living? We have to find uh, the problem with this is that people don't really understand that they are and then somebody comes and say you do this or you do that and doesn't have to be the right thing for them. So you have to have a system and that's what I figured out. You have to look at your life in a, a whole perspective and I call that uh, taking a virtual helicopter ride, where you look at your whole situation, not just one thing and not what your neighbor had the problem with or what somebody else had a problem with, but you have to find out what your problem is. So in my model with this helicopter ride, I look at uh, the life from a whole perspective. Uh, I call it stress triangle and it is like it's a triangle, three parts. It's the body, how you treat your body, and how you treat your mind, and also how you deal with the platform that you're living on, the, the base of, of your body, um, the, the base that your body is standing on. 
because the body and mind is you and the other is the rest of the world. And you have to find ways to treat all of those in balance so that uh, you, you find the, the calm part instead of being in the stress part of all these different, um, of all the angles of all those things. So when I work m with my groups or one on one, then uh, I take this helicopter ride over the uh, Wheel of Life, which contains the, the body and the mind and the platform that I divide into six different parts. And uh, that is um, money, work, free time, it's um, where you live or status in life, it's your network and it's your f intimate family. And you can fit anything in your life into these parts. Uh, and then you, f you, you figure out where you are today in all those parts. And when you figure that out, you're going to see where do I want to be in all those parts. And you make a plan for all, all, all uh, the whole thing. And that's when you see what you really need to change or do or ha what you want to do in your life. So Dr. Annika, in this wheel of life, can you describe what's inside the wheel of life again? So when I work with groups, uh, I take this helicopter ride with them and uh, or one on one of course too and i uh, and we do uh, at this helicopter ride over the wheel of life and the wheel of life has eight parts it is the body or health it is uh, personal development or mindset it is money it is work it is free time if you have any <laughs> It is uh, where you live or status in life. It is uh, your network and it's your f personal network, your intimacy. Those are the eight parts and you can put in everything in life in those eight parts. So we personalize it so that you feel that you're really looking at your own life in this. You look where you are today in all those aspects and then you have to take a deep look into your future. Where do I want to be? And where do I want to be in all of those uh, eight pieces? And uh, when I figure that out, we fill the gap with the strategies that you need to have to get there. And, when you, uh, and, and then we start to, to walk that path towards your own goals. And you have, of course, to make a strategy, which one to do first and all that stuff. But that depends on who you are and where you want to go and what the problems are. So. so you think that stress is a holistic experience, that if one aspect of our life is out of balance, that even if other areas are going well, we still may experience stress and the debilitating symptoms. Absolutely. Stress is uh, a whole thing for the, that comes from uh, the, the whole body or the whole mind. It all connects. It's, everything is connected in that. So if you are stressed in one way or if you have a problem somewhere uh, and even if it does look like your, your world is perfect, it, for the rest, it, 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 this little thing can actually ruin your whole life. Or you, I've had, uh, I had clients where things were kind of okay, and it was the whole, it, it was the business that was going down. And when we started to look at this, it was the mother-in-law that was the problem, because, and this was hidden somewhere deep in this guy. And when we fixed that, he was so much better again. So it's, it, it, it really can be anything in your life and it all connects. So when we talk about fixing something, so in this case, fixing the mother-in-law, like how do you fix your mother-in-law that's stressing you out? Uh, in this case, <laughs> it wasn't really fixing the mother-in-law, it was fixing the relation between the man and his mother-in-law. And uh, this was a long story, so I'm not gonna take that, but it's, 
you have to figure out what's bugging you. If you don't figure out what's bugging you, it's going to keep bugging you. Uh, and it's going to be there and it's going to destroy parts of your feelings and your emotions. So uh, it is a problem. What is the role of our perspective? How we look at things is, is um, uh, or it, it's not how we have it, how, how things are for us, it's how we perceive it. That's the, uh, the way we do, uh, that's what uh, stress or stress management is really. It's all about mindset, how we tackle things. Even, if, I mean, n nobody's going to have a perfect life and everything is going to be perfect all the time. But if you uh, tackle it in a way that is good for you, you're not stressed, it's not going to stress you. But if you become a victim for the circumstances around you, then you have a problem and you are going to feel stressed out. Dr. Annika, you've created a course about getting your life back. Can you tell us about it? Yes, it's an online program. It is eight modules. It goes for three months. Uh, it also has a, a Q&A. It's based on the Wheel of Life, and it, uh, it, it, it contains all those eight parts that I have in my Wheel of Life. And it's uh, uh, your body, it's, or, or health rather, uh, it's the mindset, it's the job, it's the free time, it's the money, and it's where you live, um, and it's your relations. Uh, and it's your intimate relations and you can build your whole life in those eight parts uh, and it's uh, I said uh, like I said eight modules and it goes on for three months and we have uh, monthly Q&A's uh, where you can ask all your questions so I'm holding your hand along the way. Why is the Get Your Life Back workshop so important for people? Uh, the Get Your Life Back workshop is so important for people because you have to figure out what's the problem that's causing your stress. And this is a good way to find out how you can find what is your problem, what do you have to deal with, uh, not what everybody else says, because there are so many courses or things out there that you can do and that might not be what you need. You have to figure out what you need. Uh, that's uh, the main thing. And then you get the, the, the road to walk afterwards, the one that's meant for you. Dr. Annika Sorensen, thank you for coming here. Dr. Calm and helping us get our lives back. Thank you very much for having me.